Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Ed Lacey, and we're going to talk about something really neat. I'm going to read this so I don't get it wrong. Amateur Night at the Apollos, legendary star, C.P. Lacey, and C.P. Lacey is Ed's brother. He's coming to town. Ed's going to tell us about it. Ed, welcome to the show, man. Thank you very much for having me, Alan. So, it's so my we, pleasure. We got, some, we got some action coming on. Tell me a little bit about C.P. Well, C.P. Lacey is an uh, in- interesting character. He um, does over 50 impersonations. He's a triple threat. He told me to say that he's a triple threat because he not only looks like somebody, he sounds like somebody, he moves like somebody, and he's an actor. Uh-oh. So he can uh-huh. do it all. He's a, he's a, full, he's a real deal. <laughs> and, uh, and rumor has it he can be found Wednesday nights at the Apollo Theater in New York? Every Wednesday night for the last 20 years, he's been the executioner, formerly known as the Sandman. Who kills the bad acts? They say if you can't make it in New York, you can't make it anywhere. Yeah. And if the crowd boos at the Apollo Theater, the Sandman comes out, or CP the ex- executioner <laughs> comes out and ushers you off the stage and form. So it, he's got his own show though. Now, do we got do we got a Sandman for him, or or does he play two roles on this show? <laughs> when he does the CP Lacey show, people are at the edge of their seats because yeah. he changes from, he morphs from one individual, Steve, to another without ever leaving the stage. Really? And when he's changing from, say, Michael Jackson to Prince, he's talking to you, entertaining you, and changing at the same time. Next thing you know, you're looking at a different character. So people are on the edge of their seats. Uh-huh. So then nobody has time to boo. So there's no, there's no execution. <laughs> he for keeps CP. the action coming, right? There you go. You know, but you were telling me before the show, he doesn't do Ed Lacey. He doesn't, he doesn't do me. I'm his older brother. And I oh, you're the older brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, he, anything to him is a joke, so yeah. I, don't, I don't let him joke about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. And he's got, a whole, he's got a whole bag full of different individuals that he, he impersonates. You were saying Michael Jackson and... Um, James, and Brown, James Brown. And- Diddy. Snoop Dogg, he was on Murray Povich's show doing as Snoop Dogg uh, a couple yeah. of years ago. He does um, Michael Jackson, you name it. Even he'll do um, Janet Jackson if the money is right. If the money is right, <laughs> huh? Uh, but Ed, he's coming here for a very specific purpose, and I want to talk about that too. Yes, he's coming to support a nonprofit organization in Merced City uh, called Love, Faith, and Hope. Right. At Love, Faith, and Hope, they support uh, that's it. Love, I want to get this out. Sure. Love, faith, and hope. Because what they support is critically important in my personal opinion, and I think in the opinion of many. And I'm glad your brother's coming out to support them. So love, faith, and hope. They are a nonprofit, and yes. they take care of our younger people, don't they? Yes, they do. So tell me about it. They service youth, children, and families. Uh, more specifically for this nonprofit, for this fundraiser we're doing today, uh, this month, I mean, it's going to be supporting a uh, workability program for youth. That's important. You know, I, every once in a while I have, um, you know, people on the show and, you know, kids, kids, kids get, get a lot of stuff. But there's that, there's that age group mm-hmm. that they kind of get lost in mm-hmm. the mix. They're, they're not real cute kids, so our hearts don't necessarily go out to them. And they're not adults where they can get out and take care of themselves. It's that in-between time from, like, about 13 to adulthood, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, they don't have any guidance. Right. They don't have help getting into or being directed into. Not everybody needs to go to college. But if you can learn a skill where you can support yourself, you are far ahead of the game. And the problem is when these kids don't, when, when they get dropped, the gangs are there to pick mm-hmm. them up. And, and that's, I mean, that's just death for the kids, yeah. you know. That's what Loretta uh, Spence, which is the CEO and president of Love, Faith, and Hope Incorporated, uh, says that there are the gap kids that you spoke of. Yeah. The ones that they serve, anybody can come, but they, their heart is for the ones who have fallen into that gap. Yeah. And so they give tutoring, after school services, backpacks for kids they gave away for um, going back to school, mm-hmm. and now this uh, pre employment skills training that is direly needed in our yeah, Central that's, Valley. That's awesome. You know, I, that's, and I'm so glad you're here to share that with us. Thank today. you. But, and, you know, as great as your brother is, and, and you told me he's pretty great, there's, there's a pretty good opening act, too, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. We've got some local talent coming in. Uh, matter of fact, Cheryl Lockett, which is a phenomenal singer and voice uh, manager, 
She's just coming back in from Paris, France, and she's going to do, she and Roddy Jackson, who's a phenomenal rockabilly star from yeah. the 60s, 70s, and 80s, uh -huh. he's, they're going to be doing the opening show for, yeah. uh, for that event. Yeah. That event, C.P. Lacey, Apollo Theater, man. Here, here in the Central Valley. Yeah. And, and he's your little brother. Yes, he is. <laughs> Co-starring Roddy Jackson and Cheryl Lockett uh, as that's well. That's great. Listen, is, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? This is a fundraiser, folks. Um, all the proceeds uh, that is not spent on this kind of a thing here goes to the nonprofit. So anything that you, when you come out and see the C.P. Lacey show, you're in for great entertainment and you're helping a great nonprofit organization, Love, Faith, and Hope Incorporated. Now, the last... And probably most important thing is, where's it going to be? It's going to be at uh, Merced College Theater. Okay. The date? The date is November 15th. Okay. And can we get tickets online? I'm working on getting tickets through the Merced Ticket box office, but I haven't gotten that settled yet. Okay. But we can get tickets by calling either myself, yeah. Ed Lacey, at 209 564 1584. Or you can call the Vault Works, which is Love, Faith, and Hope, at 651-403-3648. Okay, and I think we, uh, we've got a, a video that's coming up, and there's a, the, on the screen there you can, you can see the, the flyer for it. Ed, again, thanks for being with us. Thanks for what you're doing, man. Thank you so much for having and us. And through you, tell your brother I said thank you. That's I sure awesome. will. Okay. He'll appreciate it. So, and I'll see you when I come back. Thank you. Did it? First of all, I'd like to say I'm glad to be here for you. And uh, I'd like to sing a song for you that I made famous about, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, around 40 years ago. It went a little bit like this. I hope you can remember this one. Remember this one? You call my name, ooh, so sweet, to make your kissing complete. When your mood is clear, you quickly change your ways, do, 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 do. First the feeling's all right, then it's gone. I see it's too high for you, too. <laughs> From side. So I'm taking all this time to Come on, let's do it like this. Y'all ready? Let's go. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over, people. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over, people. Let's go. You can feel it all over. Oh, and also, by the way, if we happen to be coming up on that special day in your life, I just want to say to you a very special happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.